Good morning, Hot Tots. Welcome back to my channel. So, in today's morning, what am I saying? That's what happens when it's early. So, I am heading to Starbucks before work right now, and I am getting cold brew with skinny vanilla syrup with light heavy cream and light non-fat milk. It's only supposed to be one to two points, depending on what size you get. So I think because I want to get the medium, it's gonna be two points. Um, and I'm so excited because I always love trying new drinks. This one was brought to me by my friend Vanya. She's also the one who introduced me to that layered dip that I bought from Aldi. Um, and so I really, really wanna try this. I'm so excited. I think I went the wrong way. I should have just gone. Well, I'll just go this way now. <laughs> I hate myself sometimes. I don't pay attention. I'm like, wait, I went down the wrong street. <laughs> Not the brightest crayon in the box. Look how long the line is. This is crazy. Good morning. Welcome to Starbucks. What can I get started for you today? Hi. Can I get a grande cold brew with skinny vanilla syrup? And then um, light heavy cream and light non-fat milk. And you said the sugar-free vanilla in that? Yes, please. Okay. Anything else for you? Um, nope, that's it. Right. I have a grande cold brew, sugar-free vanilla, and then light heavy cream and light non-fat milk. It'll be 365 at the window. Thank you. Apparently there's no skinny vanilla syrup, it's just sugar-free. Is that what that means? <laughs> They're probably like, uh, what the hell is this girl talking about? Like, I don't know, okay? I like the tattoo on the inner part. Oh, uh, thank you. Do people notice it a lot? No, not really. I really want to get another. Oh no, you can I'll just take, take it. Okay. I'll only get some more. And my boyfriend's mom just found out I had tattoos. And she's like, why would Brittany get tattoos? I'm like, I've had them for like a couple years. I know, I've had all mine forever. Here, I got three tattoos and I dyed my hair like four times. My family was like, are you okay? They're like, we're stressed, yeah. <laughs> Brand new state never been there. That's so funny. They're like, she's losing her shit. Like, Are you okay? I'm like, I am fine. I know. Okay. That is so funny. Yeah. All right, awesome. Thank you so yeah. much. Have, Have a good fun. one. Oh, she was nice. All right, guys, the reveal. Yum. To me, it's not as sweet as I'd want it to be, but it's still good. Let's get back to work. Okay, so it is lunchtime and I'm going to be making a little pizza. I'm gonna make it from one of these pitas. These are four points. I know there are a lot of lower point pitas out there. These are the only ones I could find at the time. Um, these are the Tofayan <laughs> pitas. So I'm gonna take one of those. I'm also going to be adding some spray butter with a little garlic powder on top of it. And then, as you see, I have some green pepper and onion cut up. I'm going to have 11 pepperonis for one point, a fourth a cup of the Velveeta shredded mozzarella for two points, uh, one fourth cup of the Prego pizza sauce for a point, and then I'm gonna also add some hot peppers. I have my oven preheating at 350 degrees and let's get into it because I'm so hungry. <laughs> All right, so first I'm gonna grab my pita. I'm actually gonna put it on the other side of it. I'm just gonna spray some butter on it, some spray butter so that I can do a little bit of garlic. It just makes the crust taste better to me and more pizza-like. I'm now going to just do a fourth a cup, one fourth cup of Prego pizza sauce. Ooh, that's a lot for <laughs> this little pita, but I love sauce, so whatever. I like to put my veggies and everything down before 
I put the cheese on it. So 11 pepperonis are one point. There's 11 pepperonis. Gonna take some green pepper. I probably chopped off a little too many, but that's okay, I'll just eat them. And then some onion. And then I love banana peppers. And now I'm just gonna take a fourth a cup of this shredded cheese and put it on there. All right, my oven is on, so I'm just gonna put it in there for about like five-ish minutes because it's just, you know, everything's pre-cooked. And then I'm gonna broil it for a couple minutes too. Okay, I put it in for five. I added a three additional minutes because it doesn't look like anything has even melted. Um, so eight minutes and then I'm gonna put it on broil. Okay, so now I'm going to do broil. Broil on high. And I'm just gonna take this out. Just put it on the top where it'll broil for like a minute or two. And then I just kind of watch it a little from an angle. I wait about a minute and then check on it. And usually it's done within like a minute or two. All right, here it is. I only kept it in there for two minutes. The Velveeta cheese doesn't melt the same way that regular cheese melts, I feel like, but it looks good still. All right, this is gonna be lunch. Looks so good, so delicious. And I need to use up these pitas anyways, so I'm just gonna be using pita bread for a little while for my pizzas. Okay, I'm having five points worth of these Cheeto puffs. I'm not gonna lie, today's one of those days I'm just eating everything, it, but I'm eating these. And Ollie is licking my fingers, patiently waiting. <laughs> They're so handsome. Okay guys, dinner is not too exciting, so I'm just going to use three ounces of 96% lean ground beef. I am trying out new pasta from Amazon, you guys. I know some of my Canadian friends cannot get carbonata, so I've been wanting to try out different other pastas to see if possibly these are cheaper um, to go to Canada. So I'm trying out this brand. It is Great Low Carb Bread Co. It's very low calorie, so for two ounces, it's 100 calories. Um, this is only two points per serving. So I'm doing two servings for four points of this pasta and I'll let you know how it is. I'm um, boiling the noodles right now. I'm going to put this on top and then I'm going to top it of course with my Bertoli marinara um, and just some Parmesan cheese for like a nine point dinner. Again, I'm gonna let you guys know how these are. I know I had spaghetti on one of my recent videos from last week, but I really, really wanted to try out this pasta and I've just been craving marinara sauce. So that's what's for dinner tonight. And I really hope these are good because what good points, like 100 calories for two ounces. Like what? Non-GMO, kosher and low carb. So let's hope they're good people. They had all different kinds. They had penne, they had regular spaghetti, they had um, macaroni noodles. I mean, I just bought one bag just to see and try them out. Um, and I think I remember they were a good price point. Maybe they were the same as carbonata, but I just thought maybe these are possibly able to go to Canada. Um, I'll have to ask my Canadian friends, but. So Canadian friends, look these up. Great Low Carb Bread Co on Amazon and let me know if those are able to come to you and I'm gonna tell you if they're delicious or not. Guys, this sauce is so freaking good. The flavors in this, I mean, it is so good. It's only one point for a fourth of a cup. It's insane. I like this so much better than the Prego marinara. Like, holy smokes, and it tastes better. So definitely recommend this if you're not making the zero point marinara sauce, which some of you have been asking me to, I will make it. I'll just make it on my channel here coming up soon. Since I've been craving marinara, I might as well. Um, but this is such a good alternative. Holy smokes, I'm obsessed. 
filled up my mug with some Diet Dr. Pepper. I'm having a big thing of Diet Dr. Pepper. It's my first pop of the day. I've been just drinking water. I still need to get about two more waters down, but I really just need to pick me up because if you guys can't tell, like I can even tell on this vlog that I'm so blah. So I'm going to drink this with dinner. I can feel myself gaining energy as I drink it. Also, me and my friend Kylie cannot find Cherry Coke Zero anymore, like anywhere. Let me know if you know if that's gone or something. Cause I can't find it anywhere, neither can she. So sad, I love it so much, but Diet Dr. Diet Dr. Pepper is pretty similar, so. Can these noodles be done? I'm so used to carbonata where like you're just heating them up and they're done in like a minute. These are actually real noodles. Ugh. We cannot be bothered with real noodles. Like look at him. Bub, you look so big. When he stands, he's so skinny. Which is the optical illusion? I do not know. <laughs> um, they definitely grew in size. So big, look how tiny they are in here. They look a lot bigger in person, like in here. All right, I'm gonna drain them and let's see how they taste. Okay guys, I'm so sorry. My sister called me and I was talking to her and I ate all of my spaghetti. Do I have it on my face? <laughs> but it was really good. Those noodles were good. I don't know if I undercooked the noodles and they were just like a little harder, chewier, or if that's just how they are, but either way, they were super good noodles and super good points. Four points for 56 plus 56, 112 ounces or 112 grams, not ounces. That's a lot. Like it was a good hefty amount of pasta and that would only be 200 calories. So definitely super good. Um, I'm trying to wait to have dessert. Today's one of those days I just wanna eat everything. I should have gone on a walk and I still could. It's only like 6.30, but I just don't feel like it, you know? But yeah, I just wanna tell you guys I really liked those noodles and I will definitely link them down below. So if you guys do wanna try them, go ahead. Um, they're just as good. How many points? Yeah, cause carbonate is three points for one serving. This is only two. So I might order some more packs too and see like how they do versus carbonata. But all right, I will be back when I have dessert. So for dessert, I'm having a piece of pie. I put a top on this on the second night and it melted a little. But now that I took the top back off, it's back to being good. So just a 411, it sets when you don't have a top on it. <laughs> but tonight I'm gonna add some Hershey Light Syrup, only seven grams for zero points. This is five points. I'm out of ready whip, you guys. Like, how did I let that happen? And then of course I'm putting some sprinkles on it to make me feel better. You guys, I know this doesn't look like much, but if you've made this, you know, it's phenomenal. That'll be it for today's video, you guys. I love you guys so much. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up because it really helps support my channel and subscribe so you never miss another day with the hot tots. But I love you guys so much and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.